Hi, my name is Dimitris Kavrudakis and I am an assistant professor of geographical analysis in the University of the Aegean Department of Geography in Greece. Today, I'll talk about the HALF model, which is a very basic introduction to location analysis. Theoretically speaking, as distance between two locales increase, the amount of activity between them decrease. As we increase distance between two objects in space, their interaction, their activity between those two objects, tend to decrease. This is called distance decay, which is especially true for retail shops, towns, countries, and so on. Generally speaking, distance is a non-linear deterrent to movement. Having a retail shop, it's very important to understand the number of customers this retail shop can attract. How many customers may visit a store? Knowing the general population of an area, using the HALFS model, we can calculate the amount of individual customers each shop can attract. So half gravity model, in this case, can be calculated for two shops and the result will be a percentage of market for each of those two shops. The formula for half model is the following. The formula gives us information about the probability a consumer visiting a retail shop. I is the store. J is the consumer. PIJ which is the result of the formula, is the probability consumer J visiting store I. W is the attractiveness of a store. D is the distance between the consumer and the store. And A is a distance decay factor, a theoretical distance decay factor we use, which ranges between 1.5 and 2. This is very related to the type of shop we are using. Based on this formula, as attractiveness increase, the probability a consumer visiting a retail shop increase. As distance between two locations, the consumer and the shop increase, the probability decrease. Here is an example. A city of 49 locations, 49 individuals, has two shops and 15 customers. Those two shops have equal attractiveness. Their attractiveness is calculated to the number of 35. When we say attractiveness, we mean store size, number of products, prices, parking positions, and so on. Any type of attractiveness we can calculate for a shop. So, with equal attractiveness, those two shops against 15 consumers, using the half model, we can calculate that this will be the allocation of the 15 customers on those two shops, with equal attractiveness. So, actually, as we can see from the results, distance is the only factor that determines the allocation of a customer to a specific shop. And this is true because attractiveness is equal between shop A and shop B. On the other hand, in the same area with those two shops and different number of attractiveness value. Shop 1 has attractiveness of 15 and shop 2 has attractiveness of 25. 
Now you understand that this may change the results because shop one attracts just four customers and shop two, shop two which has increased attractiveness, it attracts 11 customers. And this is the allocation of customers in the study area. Generally speaking, half gravity model give us the probability a consumer visiting a retail store. In other words, it gives us the percentage of market for each of the shops, which is the number of customers that may visit a store. Half model could be used for evaluation of what-if scenarios. This is alternative scenarios, for example, with alternative locations of a shop. In scenario A, with one shop on the left, scenario B, with three shops, and scenario C, with one shop on the left and one shop on the right. Or, for example, what-if scenarios with different attractiveness factors, such as price, diversity, parking and other services in the store. Location matters and it matters because it's a decision for a shop owner that will take place in the beginning of the business life cycle and it will influence the life cycle of a business and it's very difficult to change it lately. Thank you very much. This was the half model.